Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, people on YouTube. Uh, welcome back to William in Japan on our second day, oh, technically third day of our Hokkaido tour. Now we are leaving Hakodate, but before that, let's head up to one of those photogenic spots. That is a must go when you are here. See you in a bit. Alright guys, the first twisty of today, the Shidotai skyline up towards the Shidotai observatory. Seven kilometers of nice and twisty roads, a bit wet, we just had a little shower, so take it easily. Let's enjoy! Seven percent ascending slope. It's not as steep as yesterday. I guess that's a good thing. Do have wet tarmac. Hokkaido roads are just so nice, guys. Pavement, curves, and we have rain. Okay, let's wash out. For puddles, uh, so far we're still okay, I think. Nah. Raining pretty hard, actually. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Sorry for a lack of commentary, guys, but I'm here on a tour, so I'm just going to enjoy the road.
by the way. Let's unplug this just in case. It's getting way more wet now. Might need to shut off the GoPro very soon. My buddy is definitely slowing down as well. is definitely toning down a bit that's nice the fog is getting thicker fellow biker Enjoying his ride too. Definitely want to be a bit more conservative on these curves. I don't know what's behind them. get to the observator I'm putting on my raincoat god this is some heavy rain now we're almost there almost there oh god 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 visibility is getting worse definitely we won't see anything on that observator for sure There's some heavy rain. Come on, come on. Almost there. 300 meter left. Yep, here we are. <laughs> I can't see jack shit. <laughs> okay. Um, I thought there would be a parking lot or something. Yeah, there is one over there, but... Definitely isn't something I expected. All right, there it is. <laughs> With this visibility, I don't know what's the point, but I'm gonna put my raincoat on. Anywho. Okay, we're off the rain. Freaking disgusting. But let's keep on moving. After being rained on multiple times, 
baked by the sun multiple times we finally got off the highway and up towards our next destination Lake Toya it is a volcanic lake right almost in the center of Hokkaido itself and as it we reach it you understand how huge of a volcano it was all right heading back into the mountains definitely it's going to get wet again and see you in a bit We are in Hokkaido anyway, so I'm definitely not going to miss out on the scallops. Alright, I got some good food in my stomach. Now we're off to our next lake, which I forgot how to pronounce it. <laughs> Believe it or not, Hokkaido names are very different than what usually Japan other regions actually use so I under recognize those Chinese characters those kanji but I have no idea how to pronounce it so if I see a road sign I'll let you know afterwards anywho it's around an hour ride let's get on with it back even though we had been following its shoreline for the past close to 20 kilometers we are finally able almost able to see Lake Shikotsu one of the largest lakes in Hokkaido ladies and gentlemen we're finally here Thank you. 
Right, folks, that was Lake Shikotsu. Now, up to our last stop of today is actually a baseball field. The newest one ever in the whole of Japan. It was just built last year and will start hosting games this season. As a big baseball fan myself, I'll never miss the chance to have a look at the newest ballpark in professional baseball. See you when we get there. Right folks, this was Escon Field, home of the Nippon Ham Fighters. Most of you never know this team, I believe. But if you are familiar with Major League Baseball, Darvish Yu from the Santiago, uh, San Diego Padres, and the all most famous Shohei Otani for the Los Angeles Angels, both were on this team. All right, let's head to my hotel. It's pissing down rain. Oh, you can see the fighters mark there. Right, 40 kilometers an hour. Let's go. End of day three. Right, we're finally here. Um, this is actually our first proper hotel on this trip. Yesterday was a business hotel, so nothing special. But as you can see, this is a traditional Japanese hot spring. Um, in other words, uh, in Japanese actually, Onsen Ryokan Hot Spring Hotel. I'm going to grab some food downstairs at their restaurant and enjoy the hot spring. See you tomorrow.